yesterday we managed to see one of the oldest buildings here in Chesham, in which are Buckinghamshire. So we decided today on a Sunday to just come and see the beauty of this church that is over 800 years old. So I am going to church today on a Sunday in the morning just to see the beauty. It is very well maintained. You can see the trees. When you look at it this way, we have, um, this is the grave side of it. If you just follow me through here at the church, uh, whereby uh, maybe the people who started the church, the vicars, the bishop, the pastors, you know, how churches used to be planted. So in honor of that, they were buried in the church compound in St. Mary's. And St. Mary's is this church. The interesting thing with this building, it is because it has not been uh, changed. The works of it has not been changed. It is still the stones and the bricks originally as you knock them. So follow me as I walk. Yeah, this is one of the tombs here and another one on that side. So this is towards the back side of it. If you look at this building, this is the stone. This is um, just a little bit cement for refurbishment. But the building itself, it is made from the stones knocked down from the quarry as they can. They just chisel and give the small shapes like that. But it is just originally, because you can imagine, they didn't have the technology of uh, the current mortar thing to make the bricks. So this is the stone just cut from the boulders and they made this building and this building is quite quite old that is why it's very historical so that people can be able to see it and it has been maintained for their children to be able to see these are tombs we continue to see the many tombs there's even another one well built here some of them even you can't see the inscriptions because they are very old 600 700 800 years so as we continue this is towards the um, side like the side of the church that's the main road i'm just connecting from a side road here so that when you look at that that is the main uh driving way of saint mary's church and then we come you can see the beauty of the building it's a really a beautiful building we even have a clock <laughs> and today being the 22nd of september 2024 the time is at 12 minutes after 12 we are just finishing our uh the service that uh, is going to be here otherwise it started at 10. this is the main entrance of the church saint mary's church that's the entrance of the church and here we go. It is even written entrance by west door. We have, I think, four doors in the building. So this is one of them, entrance by west door, and then you go through that way. So we go around it. The building, beautiful building. Yeah, very well maintained. And then we have some parking behind. You can see the trees and the grounds very well maintained. Beautiful place. Here now is the graveside of St. Mary's and uh, we have various types of uh, tombs and uh, that have been done. For example, right behind me here, you're going to see we have these uh, three big ones and uh, we have this uh, two that looks even similar. This is a couple that have been buried here. Then we have the bigger ones and this shows even these are wealthy people. That is why you see even the tomb is different, the graveside these, for these two. Then we have this other major one that is even for newer. Some of them are very old, over 100, 200, 300, many are 600 years when the church started. But here, these are the newer ones. You can even see we have the 1908 to 2002. Someone was buried there just randomly. We have 1908 to 1978. We have 1916 who died in 2014. So these are the newer ones and they are more crowded together. Right behind me, we have one that is even built up totally like a small house. That's just a different status. Some of them is just a placard like this one that is standing here. Uh, just being showed. This one, we can't even be able to see the 
the name. It has been there for really, really long. That all the names are knocked down. You can see the status. It shows really old. Maybe these are some of the ones that have been there for maybe over 800 years. This is still on the compound of uh, St. Mary's Church. Then um, we have others. Oh, we have a big tree here. This is one of the old building, uh, trees that have been here for hundreds of years as well. Very well maintained. It is not cut, you know. This is very helpful because of the historic part of it. It helps with the history. Then we have here, this one, at least it's a little bit legible. It is for someone who can see the name and write and died in February. Oh... Uh, 1851 wow so it means this one is uh, over is it 180 years old that one then we have one it is even knocked off a little piece have come off but it's um yeah to me what is amazing is just about the age you can see then we have also under the tree as we go we have another one that is a uh, two most probably you can see the difference isn't it if you look beyond these two you can see the difference this one this history tells and we are told it's for the rich it's like a small house and uh, we can't even be able to see the names very well as we are saying some of them are over 200 300 years old there are some that are over 600 old for the ones who started the church 800 years old so we can't even see the names you can only see the markings we have one this one is not even uh protected you can't even see uh so much about it but it was you can't even yeah it must be one of the old ones then we have this other one this one is the tomb just the starting ones uh, you know i'm really trying to help us to know the years oh this one i think it's written in italian okay unfortunately <laughs> can't even understand oh look at this one another different one so this one also now shows the richness of it that is why hey it's even protected by bars uh let me try to just peep through oh i can't i think this is italian or any other roman or any other then we have another one which is similar oh we have another one this one died in um yeah slept on fourth Oh God, slept in 19 oh, 1900, this one. Yeah, so that's over 124 uh, years old. Then we have this other one. This one, you can't even see the name. So maybe it's quite an old one, but you can tell it's rich. This is still literally. So I want to believe it's going to be here for quite a long while. So that's the building now. When you look at it, the building behind me, the St. Mary's Church. Uh, I hope uh, you have gotten the wealth and the importance of maintaining. Imagine over 600, 800, 700, some parts of the churches have been built. And we are here to celebrate history and uh, to celebrate a church here that uh, has a long, long, long time history. And we met even some of the people in church. They are really celebrating and appreciating that it has been stored by them and some buildings, by the way, here in UK are even protected by the government such that you can't knock them down. You can only maybe refurbish a little bit, but you can't touch or knock them down because of uh, trying to maintain the history and the culture of UK. See the beauty of an old building that is over 600 years and some parts actually of this church are older they are over 800 years so today this is the church and as you can see there's a welcome note they are welcome to saint mary's station where there is a, the faith hope and love with said come as karaoke moments and this is the the altar part the pulpit the main pulpit of the church and then as we progress now we are getting onto the inner side you can see there is a cross and there's the inner side on this part of the building it is a uh, over 500 years and we have on the other some parts of the church like on other side on to my right which might be to your left to my right that is uh on the more than 800 years so because this church has been knocked off for refurbishment a few uh and um added a few newer buildings but even the newer ones are like 500 years old so this is the back side of it where we have some uh you can see the um finishing of the windows you can see the 
older part of the building and they are keeping it as a store for the Sunday school and you can see the painting so this is the back part of the altar as we come see um, off the brick you can see yes it has been done with uh, bricks but inside most of this is rocks the original rocks that are knocked from stones and boulders but on top maybe just to make it a little bit new which they have put cement but the building itself is old and they have used the stones even on the roof those are literally stones because you can imagine over 600 700 800 years ago we did not have the technology of the current uh, bricks that are being made and mortars that are being mixed by machines. This is the back side of it. You can come and see the windows that are very beautiful. The windows have been finished uh, in the old, the initial churches, how they were being made. The windows, they have pictures uh, that were made at that time, just showing the sick being healed or maybe people praying. And we can see some photos, some uh, inscriptions also of saying this is who made this part. For example, the part that we are in, we can see from the inscriptions, they have said that uh, it was part of Richard Boyle, or Boyle, <laughs> whose faith was served uh, diverse great lords of... Uh, uh, it's very far, by the way, it's a few meters up and I'm slightly short, but we are going to zoom it for you. Uh, it is to give uh, honors to the person who made it. And we are told that uh, Richard died on the 18th December, 1626, and he died at 77. So you can see that is over, is it 600 years ago? Yeah. So that uh, placard there is in remembrance of him who built this part. So it means this part that we are stepping on now, it's over 600 years old. They've really maintained it. And uh, yeah, you can see even on the floor, it's literally just stones. And there's a small fireplace here. I think it's where they would uh, light candles, like in church, just to show these candles kind of. Uh, and this is literally just stones. They are just shaped to give the shape, but it's stones. Literally, the way you break it from the quarry and then you bring it and shape it. So this is very nice. There's a cross there. This is the back side of the altar. And then there's also another in memory of Richard Woodcook. And uh, they've written, but they've written, I think it's in Italian. Sorry, it's just not in English. And uh, yeah, and also commemoration there below. So I think all this is to in commemoration of the people who I uh, gave their words and donated their words and time uh, to build this church. So it is memory of those people. And we can see as I'm walking down, we also have on the floor, we have here is uh, the body of uh, Mrs. Mary Bell, eldest daughter, and uh, uh, to William Whedon of uh, Pedmogent. She died on the 27th of August, 1667, and she died uh, aged 79 years. So as I'm standing here, this is where her body lays in uh, honor of her. That is Mary's uh, tomb. That is where it was, the body where it was laid. Remember, this is a church that is over 600 years. Oh, it makes me realize even, we even realize there's another one here. And uh, yeah, it's also of uh, someone else, another person here. And there's also another one here called Joseph. So from the look of things, we have three uh, memorials, like the bodies were laid here. In uh, all of them, it is the 1600, 1700, 1600, yeah. AD that is after Christ so that makes the building be over 600 years because we've not seen anything below that but the building that is the bodies where they are laid but the building itself is we have some parts over 800 years so it's really an old building yeah it's a beautiful building and it's good to have inheritance hey in your country by the way 
Do you have buildings that you can be able to give memories to the younger generation? Which buildings can you name in your country that uh, have been kept and not knocked down? Sometimes we forget that the generations that come need to know about history of our country, of our inheritance, of our maybe tribes. What have we kept uh, our uh, buildings or any ornaments or anything that you can remind people it's over 600 700 800 900 1000 years this is one of the things that have, have respected the english culture for the way they have interest with their uh, inheritance and uh, to pass on history to the children 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 you know they are able even to come and some of these buildings are really protected even by the government that they cannot be broken down. You cannot change the structure. Maybe you can have refurbishment, you know, just attached to make it newer. Or you can be able to add an additional one to increase the size, but you cannot knock them down. Why? Because they want them to remain in the originality so that they can continue passing down the culture and passing down the way uh, to help the generations to see how things used to be. If it's a car, it's pushed down the way it was. If it's a building, it's not touched. It is pushed down and even maintained and invested in. Even the keeping, the sweeping, but you cannot knock it down. And uh, maybe we can show you now towards the entrance, the building on the roof side, on how it is on the roof side, the whole building on top, you will see the lighting is very well maintained. And uh, yeah, that's wooden and some bars. Uh, we have some lighting. It's a very nice building for it to have been maintained over 800 years. That is beautiful. So yeah, I hope when you visit Chesham, when you visit Chesham, you can be able to just come and see this beautiful church. It's a very beautiful church. We are glad that we made and we had a chance to to be able to come. You're welcome. And uh, at karaoke Moments, we try to bring any life conversation that we can be able to have. Because remember, we believe in it and we say that, uh, you know, life is a journey. You walk in it. Because if you didn't have to see these things in life, how will you? So this is, is one of the areas that they have baptism. Gosh, it's too heavy. Um, here is where we have water uh, for baptism. And uh, babies and adults in the faith of Christians, Anglican church being one of them. So I can't be able to pull it. I don't know whether it's locked. But this is where water is and uh, babies and uh, adults who are ready to be baptized are baptized from here this is literally stone literally it's not even bricks over 800 years it has been standing here and uh, it is even written uh, one lord one father that is on top inscriptions that are on the stone it is one lord one father one baptism i'm just going around it to see what is written and one god another corner and father of all oh that is beautiful it is one god one lord one father and father of all that makes that inscription that yeah so this is nice this is literally stone it's a beautiful place to be so thank you so much. We we are glad. We are enjoying the uh, up and about and just being able to see the beauty and the inheritance of this country. Have you subscribed in this channel? If you haven't, we want to welcome you to Karakoy Moments that you can be able to just uh, subscribe, follow us, turn on your notifications. End of our time here at St. Mary's Church in Chesham in England, UK. I hope you had a good time to learn about history and the importance of maintaining buildings. And I hope in your country you have done that. Can you share in the comments? Just type in for us and tell us in your country, which buildings do you know they are preserved and they are kept for the generations that have been coming and even the ones to come to find it and be able to learn about the history of your country, whichever country you are. Do you have any? Let's share. Meanwhile, have you subscribed in this channel? 
if you haven't kindly i want to welcome you subscribe in tarot Kyoi moment please share with your friends notification make comments let us know what else you would like to us to have our discussions let's have our interactions until we get to meet you again we love you and remember life is a journey walk in it god bless you